In the meantime, East Palestine residents who evacuated to nearby cities are filling up hotels and desperately waiting for word and when they can go home. Our Lydia Espara caught up with one evacuee who says she feels betrayed by the city and the railway. From miles away, you can see and hear the explosion in East Palestine. It looked like a black mushroom in the air. I'm worried about like anything in the air. I'm worried about the kids, you know, of course, it's very worrisome. Cindy Leboy is the general manager of Coco's Pizza in Poland. Order for Jenny. And while she is 15 miles from the train derailment, she has taken orders from folks who came here to evacuate. It brings a lot of people into this area as well. All of our hotels are starting to get booked up. They are booked to capacity, including at this Hampton Inn in Boardman. Lisa Fulton is an evacuee ordering pizza. Okay, thank you. She lives right near the tracks. When we looked out the window, we could see right where the fire that the cars were like on fire kept on going down the tracks. She left on Friday, went home on Saturday and left again on Sunday. Fulton is upset with the city, the rail company and the fire department. Do you feel like you were misled? I think so, yes. How so? Um, because I think they hid things from us. Initially, Fulton said they were told to evacuate as a precaution, not to expect something like this to ever happen. Who knows when we'll go back, I said, because it's never going to be the same again because the air is going to be terrible, the water is going to be terrible, the ground's going to be terrible. And Norfolk Southern, they said, oh, we don't know what was in those. They knew exactly what was going to, you know, they knew exactly what was in those tankers. Now the fire department, the EPA, Norfolk Southern, they're all monitoring the reefs of those toxic fumes. There's still a fire burning, so they can't do any inspections or cleaning up until that fire is completely out. So there is no word yet when the residents finally get to go home, Russ. And they continue to wait. Lydia Ishbara, thank you.